Right, hi everyone. Uh, so I've got this young owl with me here, which you've maybe seen the video earlier. The young owl was found uh, on the floor in a barn and uh, next to it was a dead sibling. So that obviously causes a little bit of concern, but especially this time of year, we're heading well into autumn. The next few weeks, it's gonna be really quite cold for these young barn owls as they fledge. So it's always these late broods, uh, which are sometimes second broods that end up getting into trouble. Uh, so I'll show you this fabulous owl. It's uh, a nine week old male barn owl. Important thing with handling uh, wild animals is we get the talons uh, under control and then uh, obviously the wings. We don't ever want to damage these young growing feathers. Uh, but this is him. He's a stunner. He's a male, uh, but he's quite heavily fringed here. I would consider him quite a dark male, but if he was a uh, a female will be much more of the bluey greys on the back. So our plan is to use the wild owls here as the foster parents. We've got cameras everywhere here. We've got four inside. We've got cameras on the outside. So we'll follow the progress of this owl. Hope that he manages over the next few days. We've had him at home for one night, this owl, and he's eaten fine. So there's nothing really wrong with him. He's just born at a very tricky time of year. So I'm going to pop him in this nest box and see how our owls react to him, uh, the young ones in the nest and also the uh, male who's still delivering food. Uh, so one of the young owls is in the nest at the moment, just in the top of the roof space and the other owl that is just down in the trees, um, just gone for a little fly around. He can fly but only just, you can see here his wings are fairly well developed but he's still downy so he's uh, He's not ready to be out and about flying around. He's like um, semi-fledging, shall we say. So I'm going to pop him up in the nest box and uh, see how he gets on with his uh, new family. So I had to just stay with him a little while while I was on the ladder because he was uh, looking around uh, his new home. So I stayed with him just to check that he stayed in that nest box for a while. So I'm going to head back up home and keep a real close eye on this owl now and uh, I'm hoping he stays in there tonight. And uh, it's just a little bit uh, old for this sort of thing, but fingers crossed it works. So I've got Howard back here in this box and last night didn't go quite according to plan. So Howard and Greet seemed to be getting along quite well and then Hans came back into the nest and there was a few scuffles in there and I just thought I had to intervene. I wasn't comfortable leaving them overnight uh, unwatched. So I took Howard out last night late and uh, we've got him back here so we're going to have another plan with him. I'm going to pop him in the barn owl tower and hope Barney will hear him call in and instinctively just come in and feed him and I think this plan might work. <laughs> There he is, we're going to pop him in here and uh, hopefully this, this one works tonight. So I've just put Howard up into the box up there. So I'm going to watch really carefully tonight, watching all these cameras to see what happens. After last night's events, Hans and Greet spent the night outdoors and it was wet and windy, so I'm just going to head out now and see if I can spot them. So that's incredible. I've just spotted hands right up at the top of this old elm tree, peering down at us. So I'm just going to get in a better position and get some footage of her. This is absolutely fabulous to see her out here.
It's great to see Hans doing so well up there in the top of that tree. I'm sure Greet's around here somewhere and I'm going to be keeping a really close eye on the cameras this evening because the nest box is just up there and I'm sure they'll be going back there for food. <laughs>